the digital archive of north indian classical music was set up at the school of cultural texts and records jadavpur university in early 2004 with funding under the documentation of rare texts program instituted by the university grants commission thenceforth the music archive has grown substantially and at present contains about 8000 plus hours of recorded music in digital form as well as a substantial corpus of music on loan awaiting digitization this includes a great deal of rare material from private collections often recorded at private concerts and soirees and never commercially circulated the archive aims to create an extensive database of recorded north indian classical music from the earliest phonographs onward in digitized versions a special collection of early gramophone records primarily of bengali songs has been added in recent years too the history of sound recording in india goes back more than a hundred years now kolkata has traditionally been one of the main centers of musical performance patronage commercial recording and music collection a major incentive to the circulation of classical music in bengal was the arrival of the exiled nawab of awadh wazit ali shah in kolkata in the mid 19th century this supplemented existing practices of music patronage among aristocratic families of the region commercial recording began in kolkata and the city continued to be the hub of activity for the gramophone company until the 1960s in the mid 20th century the majority of the most important public concerts the music festivals were regularly held in kolkata and nearby towns at which all the greatest artists of the country regularly performed We also know that an affluent mercantile class in Kolkata patronized classical music and were instrumental in creating new patterns of patronage for music. Consequently, the region is rich in terms of private collections, both of commercial recordings from 1902 onwards and concerts and private recitals from the 1940s to the present these collections which constitute the life blood of the archive strongly reflect personal tastes many collectors build up large personal collections battling against the difficulties of locating acquiring documenting and preserving records and recordings working entirely out of a commitment to the preservation of music however for long there existed no public archive of any note where sound recordings were stored and subsequently made available to researchers into music musicology and cultural history The archive of North Indian classical music at Jadavpur University preserves illustrative lineage of a cultural history of sound in this nation where recordings are made available to listeners under the normal conditions of a public reading library that is to say for consultation and study within the premises of the archive itself The goal of the archive has been to create a repository of North Indian classical music where every major and minor styles and individual performers attain representation and to open this repository for the use of the scholars and listeners of this tradition. Most of such recordings lie within personal collections. 
which are marked by individual taste, location, and historical context of such a collection. The archive takes initiative in locating and housing collections, both large and small, to bring them into the public domain of knowledge and awareness so that it can serve a much larger musical community. The technological character of these personal collections are also historically determined and very often their existence is challenged by the obsolescence of playback devices. The archive brings these collections within a common usable format through a labor-intensive procedure to preserve the contents in its original form. The private collections are limited within small and often close groups of individuals. Thus, not only the contents remain accessible to a limited few, but also the knowledge about that content seldom comes to a public forum. The archive not only brings the contents into a public space and makes it searchable through its rigorous metadata processing, but also through courses offered and events organized creates awareness about such contents in the larger community. Many meetings and events have been organized under the auspices of the music archive which has established its presence among India's musical as well as musicological community. Regular listening sessions, workshops and seminars are arranged by the archive now. In the early phases of the archive, digitization work was funded by two successive major project grants from the Endangered Archives Program of the British Library, EAP 132 in 2007 and EAP 274 in 2009. Further, the archive was funded by the UGC under the Documentation of Rare Text Program instituted by the University Grants Commission. The archive has also conducted collaborative project between the school and the British Library on digitization of South Asian archival resources funded by the Sir Ratan Tata Trust. Presently, 2019 onwards, work in the archive is continuing with support from the RUSA 2.0 program at the Jadapur University under a major project titled Conservation digitization and metadata creation of rare and endangered recordings of Indian classical music at School of Cultural Texts and Records, Jadapur University. Kindred spirits may walk into the archive situated at the main campus of Jadapur University on any regular working day between 12 noon and 5 p.m. Till then, this house of lost songs awaits your presence.